David Hare's Skylight is back on Broadway starring Carrie Mulligan and Bill Nye. We're here at the Bowery Hotel to talk to the stars on opening night. Congratulations on your opening night. How do you feel? Relieved. <laughs> yeah, just quite happy it's, it's done. It was a good night. Well, opening nights, you know, they are, they're kind of mood altering in the extreme. But, uh, you know, as things go, I think, uh, I think the play landed pretty well. You have had so many collaborations with Bill Nye. Is he your muse? <laughs> no, he's not my muse, but he is my interpreter. I just love listening to him say my lines. Makes me happy. How lucky are you to have Carrie Mulligan in this piece? Well, Carrie, I saw first as playing Nina in The Seagull. She's much the greatest Nina I've ever seen. And here she is in my work. It's unbelievable. She fell in love with the play. I don't know why, but she went around London saying she loved this play. And so we grabbed her and stuck her in it. I just think the writing's so brilliant. And, you know, I've had the luck to work on some amazing projects and, and to do The Seagull. And to find writing that comes close to that and, and matches it is so rare. And um, she was just such a brilliantly written character. When I first saw it, as, as performed by Michael Gambon, Leah Williams, and Daniel Betts in at the National Theatre in Great Britain. Uh, it was like the best fun I'd ever had in a theatre and the most satisfying experience I'd ever had in a theatre. And I, I wrote to Sir Michael and I said, I now, as a kind of joke, he said, I now consider you to be the leader of my profession. And he wrote back and said, pull yourself together. This play was a sensation when it came out in 1995, but it still is touching audiences now. Why do you think that is? I mean, I think the writing is really relevant now. A lot of the themes are very current um, in terms of the politics and, and then also it's just sort of a universal play, you know, it's about love and grief and loss and relationships and I think everyone can relate to that. And it was amazing, there's one speech in particular where Kerry talks about the social workers and um, things like that and it now gets a round of applause which David has told me, you know, it never did in the 90s so, so if anything it's become uh, more relevant. How sick are you of smelling spaghetti bolognese every night? I haven't got sick of it yet in New York. I got very sick of it in London, so I think probably in a couple of weeks I'll be over it. I mean, I cut my finger tonight, and you know, it's, sort of <laughs> it's probably one of the riskier things I've done. Once I remember eating it in London and really enjoying it, and then telling Carrie that she'd done a particularly good job, and then she, she showed me her hands, she had plasters on all her fingers, and she'd sort of bled into the bolognese. I never have to eat it, but the boys in the crew back in London, they used to, take, they used to have a rotor to take it home. It's a serious bolognese. Not only do you have to deliver one of the major parts in contemporary drama, you have to cook bolognese at the same time. I mean, come on. And it's quite cool to be on stage while the onions are going and the garlic is going. And the audience kind of like it. They're ravenous by the interval. So it's, uh, I think it works out. 